Welcome back, Joy Reid Bell to Parties Extra. We are in the Oklahoma's video studio in downtown Oklahoma City. I'm Helen Ford Wallace. Hi, Joy. Hi, how are you? Good, you have opening night for First Friday tonight. This is First Friday. Yes. This is First Friday in our show this June. Uh, in concert with everything else that's going on in, in town, is looking west. And, J uh, and you're at JRB? J JRB Art oh. Gallery in the Paseo at 2810 North Walker. Mm -hmm. And uh, our opening tonight is from 6 to 10, and we're featuring three wonderful artists. Uh, the first one is Carl Brenner, who uh, paints landscapes. He, when he was 11 years old, his parents took him to the Art Institute in Chicago and he fell in love with art and he uh, did a lot of art in high school and everything and, and showed a lot of natural ability and won a full scholarship to Stanford. Oh. But his grandfather and his father had been surgeons and they influenced him to be a surgeon. And so he did, and then he had a huge surgery practice in North Carolina. And in uh, 1965, he started taking, on his vacation, he would take painting lessons from a lot of the painters at the Cowboy Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, take three day lessons, week lessons, and he started uh, plein air painting. And so ultimately, he sold his practice when he was 65 and moved to Durango, Colorado, and he paints every day. And oh when I got gosh. his show hung this week, he came to see it and he started walking with me in front of the paintings. And I know that he paints every day and I see pictures that he sends me sometimes where he's got these hip wading boots on and everything. And uh, so there was a snow scene and I said, well, you must have just taken a spring scene and put snow over it. And he said, no, I was out there in snowshoes <laughs> almost all of the day. And he's got a truck that he's taken the back mm -hmm. and made into kind of a mobile studio. And he's painting all the time. And uh, so his show is a wonderful show of landscapes, all four seasons and uh, a lot of mountainous terrain which is really good. And then we have Brenda Kingery, who is a Chickasaw and uh, was honored as a, the Woman of the Year for the Chickasaws in 2017 and has in her all of that heritage that she values. But through a marriage, she ended up going to graduate school in Okinawa in Japan and she lived in Japan. She speaks Chinese. She has all of these oriental influences. So her paintings now are a combination of Native American and Asian. And they're wow. and and they're and they're just they're just wonderful. I mean it's kind of like seeing um, what a Western kimono would look like. It's just it's beautiful work. Well done work. And then we have Jeff Dodd, who is an Oklahoma artist. He maintains a studio in Arnett, Oklahoma. And the audience might remember some of his work. He did two murals at the Capitol, one uh, for the agriculture industry and one for the oil and gas industry, large. And so he has done uh, some landscapes for us, but most of his work that he's done for this show He's got one large, beautiful horse painting, and then he's got some cattle, longhorn cattle paintings that are just exquisite. So they're kind of all Western inspired with they, a nod to the Prix de West. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, we have Prix de West, we have Red Earth, mm -hmm. and, and you and I were just talking about Dead Center, mm -hmm. and everything is going on right now, and I think I've got all that covered in my gallery. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, you have. Do you have any special signature drinks or appetizers tonight? Well, we will. Mm -hmm. We will. I don't know what they are. I've got a couple of people that uh, bartend, and they come up with all they that do. and all they the names. They have great, uh, great names, drinks, and they uh -huh. they love that. Uh -huh. They love. So that. this would be the Junatini or something. something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it could be the Junatini. <laughs> 
They do a good job with that. And for then sure. also in the gallery, uh, we always have the jewelry mm -hmm. that I mm -hmm. have on some turquoise jewelry of Stella. That is amazing piece. It, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. And then here's one I was wearing because I own this, uh -huh. made out of bone. Uh -huh. uh, yes. That that's also, also. But we have. Uh, a, a, a lot of her jewelry and it, it is a statement uh -huh. statement jewelry big uh -huh. jewelry it is very fine it, and it, it is it is so wonderful. do you have a lot of turquoise do you have some we turquoise? do mm -hmm. we do we have turquoise but it it's not exactly a western mm -hmm. uh, influence she just does wonderful things but with the, big but stones the, these these round things are Asian too. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, those are kind of Asian, aren't they? Well, she's Asian, uh -huh. too. So. Well, I mean, so it is yeah, a It's just mix. all mixed. Everything is fusion. We have fusion. <laughs> fusion going on. Yeah. That's great. Well, okay, so next month you have Rebecca Wheeler coming in. We do. Mm -hmm. Tell us about and, her. Well, Rebecca Wheeler is an Oklahoma City artist that almost everybody is familiar with. And for years, she has done these childlike fanciful paintings that are uh, certainly have her signature all over them but they're very playful wonderful use of color uh, asymmetrical just just kind of a, a, a wonderful world to live in mm -hmm. and then a few months ago for the first time in her career she's decided to do nudes and not detailed nudes but but large uh nudes uh where the the nude may be sketched uh, uh, you know over a background of a soft pink or mm -hmm. shades of blue or something like that and it's beautiful work totally different from the month before and, and totally different from what will come after it but I'm, I'm really looking, she's got a lot of followers and, uh, and she's been painting in Oklahoma City for 40 years and everybody loves her. And uh, that, will, that will be a wonderful show. So that's July? That's July. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm gonna have to remind myself uh, what, is, uh, what is August. And uh, August is, uh, Janice Matthews Gordon, mm -hmm. which is an artist that we've had before, and then Kathy Rogers, oh, yes. now Kathy uh -huh. Rogers Wilson. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we had a little show for her last year that was very successful. And you know, she does those little she can do playful anything. abstract. She can. She can do she can anything. She can still life, mm -hmm. abstract, anything. I mean, she can work in clay. She can do. She, she is, it, is very creative, mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. creative. Mm -hmm. and and. Uh, her works have a wonderful spirit. They do. I, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, in that they're gently playful, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. She just, uh, you know. They make you it, happy. They do. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, uh, for these artists, the act of creating is, it, when, when they do a painting or they do a sculpture or something, they're almost like children to them. Mm -hmm. And they feel that way about them because it's this intense act of creativity and so personal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so what I notice as somebody that sees a lot of art and a lot of new art every day is I may not see the individual children mm -hmm. uh, that they do but I do feel a presence with their mm -hmm, art mm -hmm. and and when they come in and I'm walking through a room I, I, ca I feel certain qualities of the artist's personality, you know. Mm -hmm. And hers is just always so gentle and, and caring and uh, playful, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you have all your art, though, speaks to you. It does. Joy. Every, bit, every well, artist you have in there. Speaks to me, mm -hmm. but I, I think that's true uh, for, for any gallery. Mm -hmm. I, th I think almost any gallery, uh, unless it's an educational institution or something, wh where they're trying to introduce the public to certain art forms mm -hmm. and there's a formula. But I think almost any commercial gallery reflects the eye of the owner of the gallery mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the curator. Well, I mean, your office sure does. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. have 
you yeah. have your favorite things in your office. I, think. I do. It, it, it may be the most eccentric office in Oklahoma City. It's a, it's a, it's somebody needs to write a story about that office because the things in it are just to die well, for. And, All and, of them. And, 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 you know, it's been years in accumulation. Mm -hmm. But but I do think that when you go to galleries, you're going into an environment that that tells you a lot ab about the gallery owner and mm -hmm. or the curator or whoever has uh, shaped that. But then there are other shows that you can go to that are more educational in nature, usually put on by nonprofits, where they have a theme and they're introducing you to the lost faces of whatever, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and whatever, or, or there are about movements mm -hmm. but or you causes. Have, you have an eye for the happy things also. Uh -huh. but, I mean, you have, you have I have a variety. A variety of things, but it feels happy in there. Yeah. That, that gallery. Well, that's good. JRB that's good. Art at the Elms feels happy. So, okay, and how spirit tiles help. Well, so tell us about uh, them. Uh, uh, these spirit tiles are a little gift item we have. They're pretty heavy. They're made out of vitreous enamel. Mm -hmm. And vitreous enamel is uh, you take a thin sheet of copper and then you paint it with molten glass and then you bake it. And it's kind of impervious and this can either be hung on the wall or used as a bookend or something like that. And a, a woman I know, it's done by her son in mm -hmm. Atlanta. And the, the woman I know's partner is a, is a well-known artist who uses this medium, but he does large public installations out of it. So her son worked in the foundry and everything with her partner in the summers. And then he got this idea with a partner to take that technique and make these small objects and sell them as gifts. So each one has, a, a, the person that said this quote is Elizabeth Stone, and you see it's a, an adult hand holding a small child's hand. And it says, to have a child is to make a decision that your heart will forever walk outside your body. Oh, that's so nice. And we sell these. Uh, these are wonderful gifts uh, the, for, for newborns mm -hmm. and young mothers. Mm -hmm. Darling. And then another one, I just told somebody at the gallery to, to throw in one they liked. And so they've got this whimsical giraffe. And uh, this was said by B. Cooperwriter, who I have no idea who that is. And it says, uh, and the giraffe is supposed to be upside down. Mm -hmm. So it says, sometimes all you need is a new perspective. <laughs> and isn't that true? That's, yes, it's just that's wonderful. That's true in our world. Spirit tiles. So Spirit that, tiles. Uh -huh. I think those are very. And they're, they're collectible. And then every year, uh, Houston Lou is the young man that started this company. Every year he retires a certain number of them. And so they've kind of become a little collectible. Mm -hmm. Well, they're very collectible. And they collectible sell for, I mean, these are 129 but I got a call from another gallery um, in uh, Chicago, I think not long ago, looking for this white kitten. Mm -hmm. And evidently this white kitten now is worth $750. Oh. I didn't have the white kitten, <laughs> uh -huh. but the, but they needed it well, for a client. Well, they just speak to people. They do, mm -hmm. they're, they do. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, a, they're a, a wonderful, uh, a, a way to give a gift and recognize we, uh, we have a lot that have messages about wine and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. They just make a nice a nice gift. Mm -hmm. What about Paseo? What's going on in Paseo? Oh. And how was the Arts Festival? The Arts Festival was wet mm -hmm. in a way, but it was very successful mm -hmm. and I was really thrilled with uh, I mean, we would just be terrified, or I would be terrified at home looking at my phone of the weather and then I and see things that happen in other parts of town. And there was a little damage down there, but really it was a pop-up tent that a merchant had put that wasn't staked in the same manner as mm -hmm. our regular artist his tents or anything, and that, that fell over. But we weathered probably the worst weather we've had since I remember mm -hmm. having at the Paseo and it was very successful. We have a new restaurant 
Is that that's the one open. across the street? No, no. that's coming. <laughs> we have a, a new restaurant. It, people will remember the Red Rooster, which is at the 30th and Walker. It's the oldest bar and grill in Oklahoma. It was started in 1937. And it had been closed for renovation and to make it non-smoking because you can imagine what the duck work was like if something is smoked mm -hmm. in there since 1937. But the young people that own our coffee shop called Holy Rollers have taken that and opened a new restaurant right before the festival. And what they had did in that building, we found uh, seven layers of carpet that were glued to vinyl tile, that was glued to plywood, that was then glued to the most wonderful terrazzo floor you've ever seen. And then when we took out all the ductwork and everything and the acoustical ceiling, we found uh, a tin ceiling oh, up wow. there. And oh, wow. so they have honored mm -hmm. the past and, and uh, it, it's a nice, pleasant, comfortable place to eat with a, a wonderful vibe. Mm -hmm. And then the one that's getting ready to open is across the street from the gallery and it's called Frida's. Mm -hmm. And it's the same people that are opening Frida's are the ones that own Picasso's. So it, when's it open? It's probably going to open. They did not want to be doing training of wait staff and everything during the festival. Oh, well, that's probably fine. So mm -hmm. they decided to wait. So mm -hmm. I, I would, I bet they start having some soft openings mm -hmm. next week. Mm -hmm. Good. A and everything. And it's it's going to be southwestern mm -hmm. cuisine mm -hmm. and they've been traveling and given a lot of thought to their menu and i expect it's going to be very nice mm -hmm. Coming Coming right right everything is happening yeah. you have um 22 galleries 80 artists all yes. all within walking distance. all within walking distance mm -hmm. and we're we're real proud of that we we strive to have a, a district that you can kind of meander mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. And that you, do. that yeah. you don't have to park and walk a long distance or everything, but you can kind of go from one shop, you know, mm -hmm. to the other. It's very nice. It, yeah. it is. Well, are you still involved at OU? Did you go? I to still. Uh, I've just finished mm -hmm. my third year mm -hmm. as president of the board of visitors mm -hmm. for the five colleges of fine art. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's always a lot going on down um, there. My grandson Bennett just got back from Italy and studying the art and culture in Arezzo. Oh, he went to Arezzo? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Through the Go Global Initiative Program. And Wonderful. I mean, what a great way to learn about art. I mean, oh, he it saw is. it all. Mm -hmm. It is. And, and that, that little town, and then I imagine uh, the OU professors and, and students, they have exhibits there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every I have not been to Ritzo, but I've heard it's just charming. Charming. That's what it is. Charming. I mean, the and, pictures. And are and charming. I'm just those global. I mean, we live in a global world. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go to Italy, you know, when I was in college a hundred mm -hmm. years ago. But I think it's important that the young people do now. Mm -hmm. well, he the was world there. has changed they so much. They had a much. huge group, and they they did have them all summer. Uh huh. Yeah. And he st took classes uh -huh. too. Mm -hmm. That's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's and wonderful. they were in Rome. They were all over the yes, whole all, all country. over mm -hmm. Europe. And mm -hmm. and, uh, and I know last year they took him to to Venice. Too. Been, they, he went to Venice. They went to Florence. They went, oh. they were they were everywhere. They had a and great time. And he'll never time. forget no, that. No, they had a wonderful time. He'll never forget that. That's such a wonderful opportunity he had. Okay, well, tell us now um, about JRB. Um, your your hours. Okay. Your summer hours. Our summer hours are uh, 11 to 5. Now, mm -hmm. when Frida's open, we may find out we have to stay a little later. Okay. But, but usually 11 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday, and 1 to 5 on Sunday. Okay. And so they can always check with our website, and then we paint it mm -hmm. on the door. And they can always call me, and uh, I will meet anybody there for an appointment. Okay, website, do you have a website? Uh-huh, it's www.jrbartgallery.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... The uh, phone number down there is 405-528-6336, and I hope folks can come out tonight and uh, come by and have uh, a drink and a little refreshment and look at some good art and then go to Red Earth.
Thanks for catching us up on JRB Art at the Elms. Your gallery has its own stories from the past, and it sure is a beautiful and a wonderful place to see wonderful artwork. Have a great summer, Joy. You too. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.